Now this is everything a sales page should be and more. Clean design, clear copy, awesome graphics that complement the copy, and this is the sales page design I recommend you start with. We'll get into why here in a moment. So timestamps below, along with some other helpful videos to actually writing the sales copy for your sales letter. Now, when it comes to the design of your sales page, done is always better than perfect, and it is much more important to use a proven copywriting and conversion framework than try and make something that's really nice and pretty, pretty from an aesthetic point of view. So to create and design your sales page, whether your sales page is going to look like this, look like this, or look like this, you want to use something called the ADA framework. It stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. You grab attention with the headline, you create interest via your bullet points and subheadlines, create desire via some benefit-driven stories and testimonials or trust seals, and then finally you drive action to someone hopefully purchasing your actual product or service. So we'll go through each one of these elements and how they play out on across these three landing pages. So first up, of course, we have attention. And what your headline needs to do is clearly answer the question, is this for me and what's in it for me? And right below your attention grabbing headline, I recommend having your unique selling proposition. So this is going to tell people a little bit more about the big overarching benefit of your particular offer and how it's going to make their lives better. For our basic sales page, we have the most effective PPC campaign builder to quickly deploy high converting Google search ads and double your return on ad spend. So we immediately communicate what it is. It's a campaign builder and what it does and the big benefit. Now with the other two pages, because they are offering a membership website, they talk about all of the resources and things that are involved in getting access to that membership. And then you move on to your sales video. Now I'll go through a very simple formula that we've come up with for our sales messages but you want a video here that's five minutes or less that talks about how the offer is going to benefit your ideal customer. Again, we'll get into a very simple formula you can use. Actually, link in the description to grab that formula along with our complete guide to building a funnel from scratch. Now, when it comes to the next section, this is where our pages differ a little bit. This is where desire comes in. So if you have any sort of testimonials or trust seals, this is a great place to include those or you can have a benefit-driven story or benefit-driven statement. Now, what that means is you're saying, hey, you're in position A right now, and you want to be in position B, and this offer is going to bridge that gap. So if we go over to the Mind Valley page, and you were to pause this video, it would be clear that it's talking to someone who has a business idea or wants to develop a big business and how this particular offer is going to move them from where they are now, not having a big successful business, to where they ultimately want to be. We do something very similar on our sales page, although we are a little more feature heavy where we are talking about the specific features of the offer and how those are going to allow our ideal customer to actually get the big results that they want, which is better performing Google ads. Then underneath that, you'd go ahead and have some bullet points. Now, you're going to have three bullet points, five bullet points, or seven bullet points, because for some reason, odd number of bullet points seem to convert better. And while our two example landing pages don't necessarily follow this format exactly, you can see that on Mind Valley, eventually they start to have a listing of everything that is involved in this particular course. So that's how they do their bullet points. Whereas on the digital marketer page, you'll notice where we had a benefit driven statement, they actually had their interest. They had some bullet points. And then you actually have to scroll all the way down to see where they actually use their desire element here talking about where someone is right now in their digital marketing journey and education and where they ultimately will be as a result of picking up this offer. And then finally, of course, we have the call to action. Now, with each one of these pages, you'll notice that they are all designed slightly differently. They have attention, interest, desire in different places. Of course, Mind Valley and Digital Marketer actually has some testimonials on their pages. And so I recommend checking out their sales pages because they're a great benchmark to look at. But they're not necessarily something that you should try and do right out of the gate because they have teams of people building these pages and testing them. And you will be surprised how effective 
a simple but ugly looking sales page like the one that we're currently using can actually convert. In fact, one of our best performing upsell offers, we took a YouTube ad and then chopped it up and used it as a sales letter. We just took out the call to action of link in the cards or the description and it's the exact same video we were running as an ad. So I include that to say that it's really easy to overthink this. It's really easy to look at these awesome pages and say, that's what I have to do to be successful. So I'm here to tell you that ugly pages like the one I'm showing you and the one we're going through actually do convert. The one that we actually went through is currently converting at over 4% on traffic from YouTube. So that's someone watching a YouTube video, clicking the link, and then ultimately buying that offer that's currently sitting at about $25. Now, when it comes to the video, that's where you might spend a lot of your time. And so this is a simple formula that we've come up with called HAWK, and it's just an acronym that we came up with because I thought HAWK sounded cool for a sales letter. Although it includes the same elements as you have on a traditional sales page, the only difference is people just don't have the attention span for a 45 minute, you know, webinar, 45 minute VSL or two hour webinar anymore. So if you can condense all of that rapport building and the benefit and feature communication in five minutes or less, you're going to be surprised how successful you can be. So here's a breakdown of what you would do with this particular video. And it's totally okay if it's just a traditional VSL where all that shows up is text. All of our sales videos, I don't actually ever show my face because I'm so focused on getting the script right. So we just use Google Slides or PowerPoint for all of these videos. So. Let's jump in. So the first thing you're going to have is a hook. And this is going to be the first minute and a half of your video. And this is where you have a big promise and you just communicate what they're going to be able to do as a result of the offer that you're about to present. Then you have a humble introduction. If you've ever been on a webinar, this is normally where they have some rag to riches story. They lost everything and then they were flat broke and then they were flat broke again. And then they found this magic pill and now everything's better and life is grand. No, nobody wants to hear about that anymore. So 90 seconds or less, who are you? Why should we care? What have you accomplished in the context of this offer? That's it, 90 seconds or less. It's a very humble brag. And if you have the ability to say, hey, I was in your shoes and I was struggling with this, then go ahead and say that, but make sure it's very specific as opposed to, I was flat broke and now I'm a millionaire because of this like crazy, crazy new offer that I have for you. Make it specific and make it actually real. If you don't have something specific, then just introduce yourself and what you've been able to accomplish and move on to the next section, which is the workshop section. So this is a little counterintuitive, but you'll spend anywhere from three to four minutes actually demonstrating how the offer is going to help them. And you need to have one or two takeaways. So if someone doesn't ultimately buy, at least they had one or two aha moments of, oh, that's something I could try, or oh, I didn't know that's how that actually worked out, right? And then you're not creating a course here uh, by any means. It's three minutes or less just to give someone a little preview and demonstration of how you can actually be valuable. And then maybe 30 seconds at the end of saying, hey, I think you should check out the offer that I have below, or hey, go ahead and click the enroll now button to get started. And that's all you need to do with your sales video. And if you're not quite sure what to include for your headline or how other people in your niche or industry are using interest and desire or putting in their videos, then choose three or four competitors and go understand the messaging landscape. Go understand what they're saying to your potential customers, right? And view it as what are they talking about in terms of benefits? What are they talking about in terms of features? And then what types of offers or calls to action do they have? And so looking at other sales messages in your particular niche or industry is going to help you a tremendous amount in coming up with how you can better communicate with your ideal customer. Of course, we're not talking about copying. And again, pages like these from Mind Valley or Digital Marketer, they're something that are really great to aspire to, but definitely don't try and spend all that time and energy creating these pages out of the gate before you've actually proven that people even want your offer or your copy is working. Because when it comes to the design, at the end of the day, it's more about the framework that you use, like Ada, and the actual copy and words, and the design and the images are just there to complement it.
So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely have, hope you have a much better idea of what you could do with your sales page. So I'll link up in the description to our sales funnel organizer that includes the Hawk formula as well as some other formulas to help you with building out the rest of your funnel. Hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing videos just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.